A new rule before the next Republican accuses President Obama of taking his cues from Saul Alinsky, he has to answer two questions. One, why would you invite my outrage by suggesting such a specious link between our president and Saul Alinsky? And two, who the fuck is Saul Alinsky? <laughs> you know, I never paid attention to that name when Glenn Beck used to say it because he was wearing later hosen and standing on his desk. <laughs> but now it's gone mainstream. Newt Gingrich recently said, the centerpiece of this campaign is American exceptionalism versus the radicalism of Saul Alinsky. To which the woman in the car with him replied, let go of my hair, you're hurting me. <laughs> Which still doesn't tell me who Saul Alinsky is, but if Newt hates him, he's probably a divorce lawyer. <laughs> now, <laughs> I know liberals think I'm making this all up because they're outside the conservative bubble, but trust me, inside the bubble, it is an article of faith that liberals take their marching orders from someone named Saul Alinsky. We wake up in the morning, kiss our Saul Alinsky poster, <laughs> recite a passage from the Saul Alinsky manifesto, and pat our dog, Solly. <laughs> but again, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Alinsky? He either fixed the 1919 World Series or co-wrote Do the Locomotion. <laughs> you could waterboard me and I would still be pulling stuff out of my ass. I even asked Suri, the voice in my phone, who is Saul Alinsky? She said, fuck if I know. <laughs> Suri said that. <laughs> so I wikipedia the guy. Instantly, I discovered the problem. He liked black people. <laughs> Way back in the 30s, he started organizing the civil rights movement, and as a historian like Newt Gingrich will tell you, the civil rights movement turned out to be a huge burden on white people. <laughs> Alinsky also fought slumlords and taught poor people to band together to improve their lives, or what Mitt Romney calls a divider. <laughs> so I tried skipping to the part where he and Obama became BFFs. But that part never happened since he died when Obama was 10. <laughs> and yet somehow it turns out that this guy, who was never a communist or even a socialist, has become the right wing's all-encompassing figure of evil, a radical activist who controls Barack Obama from the grave. <laughs> you know, Republicans have created this completely fictional president. His name is Barack X, <laughs> and he's an Islamo-socialist revolutionary who's coming for your guns, raising your taxes, slashing the military. <laughs> apologizing to other countries and taking his cues from Europe, or worse yet, Saul Alinsky. <laughs> and this is how politics has changed. You used to have to run against an actual candidate, but now you just recreate him inside the bubble and run against your new fictional candidate. That's how Bush won in 2004, by running against John Kerry, a French war criminal. <laughs> And speaking of Bush, I know conservatives are saying, oh, Bill, come on, Democrats did the same thing to him. No. Say what you will about the left's hatred of Bush, at least we were hating on the real guy. We didn't, we didn't invent a boogeyman who tanked the economy, took us to war on false pretenses, and tortured prisoners. That was the actual guy. But run down... Run down the list of complaints about fantasy Obama. He wants to raise your taxes, even though he's lowered them. Confiscate your guns, even though he's never mentioned it. And read terrorists their rights. Yeah, like he did Tuesday in Somalia. And look what Gingrich said about him this month. Tells you everything you need to know about the difference between Barack Obama and the five of us, that we actually think work is good. Yes, Obama is anti-work. <laughs> you remember the bill he championed, the Grab a Corona and Call in Sick Act? 
You see, the difference is the Republicans' hatred of Obama is based on a paranoid feeling about what he might do, what he's thinking, what he secretly wants to change. Anger with Bush was based on what he actually did. What Bush was thinking didn't matter, because he wasn't. <laughs>